Alhamdulillah, Salatu Wassalam, Ala Rasulillah. Dear brothers, we are at the time of the year when some of us are either confused or some of us have made a decision one way or the other about the two upcoming events. One is Christmas and one is New Year's Day. So whether we, whether we celebrate those or whether even we say Merry Christmas or Happy New Year on those two occasions. So I want to quickly take a couple of minutes to talk about, in, in the Islamic perspective, in the, in the lights of uh, Sunnah, what is that uh, the best approach that we can take in this situation. Let's take the New Year's, for example, because it's easy to talk about the Christmas if you, if you can understand uh, celebrating or saying Happy New Year. The New Year is connected to the birth of Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, according to their naming. But according to Islamic literature, we do not have any authentic source to say when was Isa alayhi salam was born and when was Isa alayhi salam died. So there, it has no relevance to us in terms of when his uh, actual birthday was. So there is no point for us to even recognize that. And since it aligns with the Christian's belief, we should avoid it. And why do we say that? Prophet ﷺ has said, Man minhum. Those who imitate other people belong to them. This hadith is in Abu Dawud, hadith number 3512, narrated by Ibn Umar. Anha. Man minhum. If you imitate other people and if you start celebrating something that other religion, people of other religions celebrate as uh, some significance for them, then we started belonging to them, meaning we will be, we will be considered as not Muslims, Billah, which is the great, greatest disaster that can happen to any of us. And secondly, celebrating New Year's is, is not logical. It has no value because just by changing the calendar, what, what is that that is benefiting to the people? There is nothing. Today is 19th. 19 days ago, we had December 1st. Did we all say that, happy December? Two months ago, we had uh, November 1st. Did we say, happy November? It has no meaning. And, and same way, we are getting another calendar change, 2015. What is the meaning in saying, happy New Year? That has no meaning either. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has moved to Medina, he did observe people celebrating two days for no reason. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has asked, what are these two days? Then people responded saying, we do celebrate these two days from the time of Jahiliya for no reason. They play sports and then they uh, eat uh, good food and they just celebrate those two days. Then Prophet ﷺ has said, Allah has given us two better days to celebrate. Those are Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. This hadith is in Abu Dawud, hadith number 959. So when Allah has clearly given us two better days to celebrate, those are the days for us to celebrate. So now, can we even say Happy New Year? Although we may not be celebrating it, can we even say it? The best thing you can do is not to say it because by saying it, we are recognizing it. We are accepting that, oh, it is a celebration. It is a great thing. It is some, some valuable thing. So the best thing we can do in this regard is to not to celebrate and also not to acknowledge it by saying even Happy New Year. When this is clear for us, it will be easier for us to understand that it is not allowed to say the Merry Christmas in the same way or even to celebrate uh, Christmas. May Allah save us from all forms of bidah and make us die in the state of uh, Muslims.